Let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to process this file. So we're going to do that using Automation Engine Pilot. I created a new project called Amherst. Uploaded the PDF file. Notice the very convenient viewer right here, which is part of Automation Engine. Go ahead and zoom in there. Uh, this viewer allows you to do quality control, measure, show colors, measure barcodes, uh, and we can see the color makeup here of these elements. First thing we're going to do is normalize this file. I'm going to manually do that using our normalize PostScript PDF Illustrator task. Notice the output will be directed in the normalized folder. That only took less than a second actually. Notice here the system added the files to the pages view. If I look at my log file because I see a orange done with warning, we can easily see here why it's orange because the file had different page sizes. So it's been split in two PDFs. Let's have a look at those two PDFs. So this is the original page um, that you prepared for us to show you uh, what it looked like before. And this is what you want it to look like. So after it's strapped. Again, I can measure the color makeup here and I can also compare using this enable difference view. So if I upload the first page, the system will now compare both versions or both pages, if you will, with one another. First thing I'm going to have to do here is align those. Very easy. Simply click on the auto align button and there you go. And I can see here highlighted in blue that the difference between these two files obviously is the uh, trapping that took place. Okay, so let's have a look at how we can automatically create that trap using automation engine uh, action called uh, Trapper, Prepare for Trapping. Okay, so I'm going to take the original page right here. I'm going to use our trap with power trapper action. Very advanced. There's about 15 years of uh, research and development in this one action here. I'm going to specify job URL slash trapped. So that way the file will be directed to the trapped folder. Too many options in here to discuss during this short demonstration. We're just going to run this. Uh, just one quick word on rules though. Uh, you can add custom rules in case you have a specific type of trapping that you want to have our system perform here. You can set up rules where, for example, whenever black traps into any other color, I want to automatically trap with a different distance, a different intensity, and so on and so on. So very advanced uh, possibilities in here. Let's go ahead and launch it. Again, less than a second right here. We can see it's done. Final file is right here. Let's view that file. And here it is. So that's basically very standard, very easy uh, action. Again, I can compare that with uh, your file, which was page two. So let's go ahead and load those on top of each other. And the only difference that we should see is maybe a distance in uh, trapping. You know, you might have used a, a smaller or a larger trapping distance. And indeed, that is what I am seeing here. That uh, tiny blue sliver indicates that, you know, you applied a slightly thicker trap than I did. So there you have it. Um, very easy to implement trapping and many other features here uh, to create complete automated workflows uh, for your uh, label shop. Uh, truly increasing uh, productivity and throughput uh, right here uh, using Automation Engine. Okay, any additional questions, uh, let me know. BME at esco.com. Thank you.